and take that. Do I need to clear that tower? I think I do. All right, let's... orders required. Uh, just scout. That's fine. Um... Oh, wow. <laughs> We're, like, surrounding that person, but we can't hit him. Let's see. Okay, I can make the armory there. Requires two foresters. Feels kind of weird. So, like, despite the fact that there's so much of the map still un, uh, still covered up that we don't control, we're actually near the win condition. We just got one more bully we need to go beat up. <laughs> Monument research done. Uh, anointed people. Ooh, this is one of the ones I wanted to do. Buff a race. Honestly. I'm not even sure. Because I'm using, what is it, like, some of my, my strongest army is like summoned animals and plants I made with magic. There's actually not that many goblins and stuff in my army, so a lot of these buffs are, like, they help a little, but not nearly as, as much as you would think. Seer Spire can annex another province. Uh, gotta find one it can reach. Orders required. <laughs> Unicorns! Go patrol. New skill available. What is this? Uh, raising cities takes two turns less. Nice. Uh, your throne city loses one pop, but immediately summons a Baylor from power with power of the slot. Wait, Chaos Right. Trade one population to summon a Baylor. Tier 5 Big Demon. Seems like it's probably pretty powerful. Permanent the Baylor will permanently gain one hit point and one percent damage bonus when killing an enemy unit. That seems really good. Chat, I want a Baylor. Sorry, Throne City. I want a Baylor. Where's he at? Oh my boy! My boy! I can't click on him. Ironically, he's so thick. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Hold on. Recall ruler. Alright, and then... Return target army to the throne city. Can I do that recall spell a third time? Where is it? Teleportation circle. There we go. Alright, that was a crap ton of mana, but they're all back. Oh no, my mana's negative right now. That's not good. Okay, we're recall ruler. Alright, prime that again. And prime that again. Okay. How are we going to do this? They're all out of movement right now. <laughs> My man is. I mean, we, we have a lot of mana right now, but it's going negative at the moment. We need to go beat something up. Okay, let's remove the nymphs. Pick up the Baylor. We need to handle this cursed tower. Alright, and then these guys step forward. Um, I don't think they can help with the tower, but have them follow. These guys step forward. Let's have the pigs go explore. 
The Drya join that army. Having trouble yeah. selecting him. Anointed people done. Starting to research. Salvation. Single target heal and cleanse. Uh, start charging anointed people. Wizard's auditorium done. Uh, let's start focusing on stuff that gives mana, since I just wrecked my mana income. Seer Spire made an armory. Um... Don't know if any of these gives me. Oh, plus 10 mana income. Counts as a conduit. Plus 3 knowledge per adjacent conduit or research post. Okay, there's a research post. There's a conduit. Put it right there. It's decent. Uh, new stuff here. Right of Allegiance. Instantly gain 20 Allegiance with all free cities. They all are at war with me. Uh, shock units, shield units, and polar units gain XP 20% faster. Stolen power. Gain 200 mana and 200 knowledge upon completing the conquest of a city. Temple of Fertility is done. Uh... I guess there's not an herbalist in this region yet. Can we do that? Can we fix that? Just put one right there. Teleportation circle is done. Anointed people is charging. Okay. I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised how many of y'all are as into this as I am. Like, anytime, you know, a streamer tries out a game that's not their usual forte, there's a little bit of nervousness, like, oh, man, am I going to have an audience tonight? But, the, like, not only are you obviously here, but the numbers are pretty high for my for what I usually get, uh, and I'm very pleasantly surprised by that. Quarters require what the pig? What the f- The pig is, like, being dumb. I mean, well, it's a pig. <laughs> Independence are moving. I have no idea what's going on, but the game looks cool. That was me for the first eight hours, so I don't blame you at all. Is this one of those buildings where people have to go in alone? One army would buy a hero. Okay. Well. This is my strongest army. We love you, Muck. And I love you, Random Citizen. I played AOW2 as a kid and I loved it. XCOM with Civ and Warhammer looks cool. What can we say? Mug's good entertainment. Uh, Age one is a very good game. I'm here for you. The games are side content. Oh, thank you, Smashy. Uh, I was the f first one to show you this, and after the last spell, I'm on a streak. Uh, now you have to trust me 100% every time. Julia, I, I, just to be clear, I believe you that you did. I don't remember remember it. I remember you you did get me the last spell. Absolutely, you did. Uh, the This one... I think, you know, you've shown me a lot of games. This one, I actually was, um, side quest was like, hey, would you be interested in playing this? And I was like, yes, this one, no, this one, maybe, blah, blah, blah. And then this was kind of a, uh, they went to the company and were like, hey, would you like to sponsor Mucklock to play this? And they were like, we don't have any money, but, uh, here's a free copy of the game. <laughs> so side quest came back and they're like, you want the game? And I was just like, yeah, sure. And then I tried it, and I, I thought I would like it, but I ended up loving it way more than I thought I would. So I ended up getting the, the so I, you know, full disclosure, I got the copy from them for free. Uh, you enter a dark cursed tower. It used to be a grand stable beacon for all magical beings, but now you and your army quickly notice something's off. Without moving, you find yourself at the other end of a hallway, up the stairs, or back at the door. It becomes clear that some force here is warping the tower and displacing its furniture and everyone in it. Oh, it's Dio! Your army scrambles as they find themselves displaced through the tower. Suddenly your troops find themselves standing eye to eye with a lost wizard before it disappears again. Danger approaches. Um, let's see. If you just attack, you get hit with displaced reality. Every two turns, things are moved around. If you use 281 mana, 
Uh, it's every three turns. All right, I'll delay it with my mana. Uh, let's do this on manual. Let's have some fun. That was a while ago you watched trailer and said it seemed cool. Mmm, delicious. I don't doubt it. Dude, look at the height difference. Look at the look at this dude and look at her. Alright. What is his abilities? Sunder Earth. Damage in a four hex line, three hexes wide. Um, Chaos Brand. Target sustains damage, becomes berserk till the end of battle. If not a hero, turns into a tier one fiend under your control when it dies. Wow. Okay. Um. Summon some distractions. And turn. Let them come closer, if they will. I really like the eye creature. What is that? Um... Ironically, it's called a watcher. I can't go to the inspect screen from here. Hold on me. I think those are the lost wizards, that really tall thing. See, that's his range. Again, summoning distractions. turn. I've summoned a bunch of little vines over there to interfere with them. Uh, dog just got a kill from retaliation. They're blasting a lot of these plants that I don't care about. That's great. Okay, we just made that wizard berserk. Pros and cons to that. Right, that spell nukes an enemy and also summons plants in any free spaces. I can't reach. Uh, all right, let's do this. I'm gonna summon distractions again, and then put it on auto, so they all just like search, you know, zerg forward a bit. Trying to hack their way out. Okay. And every time I cast something, it triggers Star Blades, which is uh, you get a damage buff whenever a spell is cast. Mm. All right. 
This is looking pretty good. We should be fine here. Ah, <laughs> the, the Dryads just seduce the Watcher. He likes to watch Jeff. <laughs> I think there's just the one big wizard remaining. Dryad just cast Regeneration on all of them. The Watcher is helping kill this guy. I think if it gets to the point where the only w w uh, one alive is the, um, the mind-controlled guy, it'll just say that we win. Oh, he just broke out of it. Does this game have any frustrations, or is it fun all the time? Julia, because you can reload, it's just been fun all the time. If it was, you know, one of the... If it was a roguelike or something, there might be some scary adrenaline moments. But r right now, it's just chill fun. Uh, Warping Tower Aftermath. After defeating the creatures, you sense uh, some sense of peace returns to the Twisted Spire. The tower can now be traversed with relative ease, although the warping continues. Your army tries to collect as many books and riches as they can to stop the objects from popping in and out of existence. You enter the top spire of the tower, where the displacement seems strongest, and find the body of a wizard warped into a wall. A failed arcane experiment caused the problems at the tower. Which objects do you save before it's warped into the Astral Sea? You receive a ton of knowledge, a storm orb, gold, or a tome of teleportation. I'll take the tome. Free book. Salvation. Target friendly unit heals all hit points as 10 hit points. Okay. Um, unlock Tyrant Knight. Come on. There we go. Alright. Uh, can I... Yeah, so now that I've cleared that tower, I can take that land chunk. And it's really good. It uh, it gives 20 mana, 15 knowledge, and 5 Imperium, which it's really rare to find Imperium income. Uh, all there. So that's awesome. Is there any more little dungeons like that that I have left alive in my own area? Do they show up on the... Okay, so it's like, it's like that. Pilgrim's Passage. Have I done this one? I'm thinking I might not have. Like, I've built there. I can't tell if that's mine or not. Okay. Uh, orders required. What are those? Inferno puppies? Okay, one, they're adorably terrifying. I don't know how I got these. Is this because the Balrog killed some stuff? Alright, I'll just set them to auto-explore, because the army is full. Tyrant Knight is done. Can you gain the Watchers as minions if you picked a different uh, ruler and race? Actually, uh, okay, perfect timing. So right here you see, you periodically get to pick a tome. And if, a, if the game went on for like 10,000 hours, you could get all the tomes. I'm pretty sure the Watchers are from one of the tomes. One of the blue ones. I swear I've seen them before. Give me a minute. Uh, Storm Spirits, Phantasm Warriors. Oh, right here. Tome of Scrying, Summon Watcher. So yeah, you could, if, this, if you wanted to make this a goal, it wouldn't even be that, uh, that hard to hit. Uh, Angelize. Turn a whole race into angels. Oh, like those angel frogs we saw earlier. Uh, they get flying, faithful, which reduces upkeep, and celestial. Resurrect unit, Temple of the Exalted. You know, I think I'll take this just to get the Temple of the Exalted. Uh, 
Uh, in the end, it shall be faith, not flesh, that begets eternal glory. You shall usher in a kingdom of truth and enlightenment. Those who gaze upon your people shall know divinity in its absolute form, and the unworthy shall feel but the burning flame of your wrath. All right, now I've already made all my goblins. Um, oh shoot, I was clicking too quickly. Uh, can I show you one of these guys? See, they got like the roots and stuff. I made them like a nature thing. Um, was it Gaia's Chosen? Which they're very resistant to charge attacks because they're planted firmly in the ground, I guess. And they get bonus hit points and status. So if I did the angel thing, it would override that. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with what they've got right now. Uh, let's see. Monolith for more mana income because our mana is still negative. High Ridge can annex another area. Let's see. Let's build a farm. Uh, we got a tier 3 spider from that. Send it wandering. Anointed People is ready to cast. Go ahead. So all the gobos get a uh, couple of buffs. Love that. Alright, and enter. Uh, I love that you can auto battle, and not like the results, and then just decide to manually control the battle instead. It isn't, yeah, as far as like your your time, that is very nice, yeah. The, the option to do that definitely respects your time. One of my, oh, it's the puppies. <laughs> Let me see if I can run them away. Alright, attempt to run. Uh, it got away. Actually, that was a warg. That wasn't an Inferno Bubby. I guess I have multiple Bubbies. Knowledge sharing. Every time I hear about Vortex, I'm amazed by your newest arcane breakthrough. It seems like you are advancing by leaps and bounds while we still crawl like newborn babes. Would you, the brilliant mommy dumb of luck, be interested in educating my people so that we may follow you on this path of knowledge? I bow before your arcane expertise, my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and humbly ask for your scholars to instruct mine. Oh, you want mommy to teach you, huh? Ah, uh, give up knowledge for six turns to gain relations. Uh, scholars from Vortex will enlighten yours for a fee. Uh, personally tutor you. 40%, 60% chance of success, 40% chance that you make everything awful. Uh, I, none of this, sorry, no. Okay, I guess I've already done Pilgrim's Passage. Alright, so I think our last objective on this map is to go find this blue cat guy and to beat him up. Um, so we are here. It's a... just moves us just a little bit to the right. I'll just do that. And then this guy here. Teleporter. Teleport to Axe Ward. And this guy here, teleporter, teleport to Axe Ward. Also, I just noticed this. It looks like when you teleport, you use up all the rest of your movement for the turn. I didn't know that. Today I learned. Uh, Angel. So uh, for anyone who doesn't know what I'm doing, the exclamation point is basically I've got a, I've got a trait where every time this screen comes up and I have to choose one, one of them has an exclamation point and it's faster. So I just keep going for the exclamation points because in the, uh, you know, long term, that means I'll have more done. Searspire, uh, what is a chrono gate? Functions as a teleporter. Mu uh, must be built on a province. Okay. Plus knowledge and mana per adjacent conduit or research. Grants evasion to visiting armies until their next combat. Uh. I mean, I've already got a teleporter. Three and three. Six and six. Wait, 12 and 12? Oh, research post, conduit, research post, and the cursed tower might count. All right, put it there. Okay. Uh, spell is ready. I don't need to cast anything right now. End turn. Mm 
Okay. Um, so this Bell Star here is an ally. They've kind of just been. I've, I've just kind of been using them as a wall to help protect my eastern side. Angelize is done. I'm not going to do it because I'm happy with the Gaia's Chosen thing. Uh, Devolve. Which, de it's a debuff that you throw on an enemy. Mm, I don't recognize that. What is Garden of Bliss? Gain 10% of food income as mana. That seems really cool. Okay, so it's like a, you upgrade a farm. All right, put that right there. Uh, let's see, that is done. Bountiful Fields counts as a farm. Okay. Wow, goes from 30 food to 41. All right, so build that there. And let's see, High Ridge is the one that is like creeping down into the enemy territory, which is wonderful. Uh, quarry or hut? Quarry. And we got, oh, that's how we got Inferno Wounds? So I've got that trait where it's like every time I take over an area, I get a um, free animal army unit. But I guess for taking over this volcanic area, I'm getting Inferno Dogs. Huh. Uh, this pup is, oh my god, it's movement, look at that. Alright, now in turn? There we go, now it's actually ending the, when you see those messages in the middle of the screen, it actually ended the turn. Alright, have I already done this golden layer? I have not. Uh, an ancient golden layer looms before you. Inside the encounter, you encounter two resting dragons at opposite ends of the hall. Each dragon seems to be guarding one half of a considerable horde. Intruder, the first one, a royal fire dragon says, Thou darest enter my horde? Leave thy tribute, lest I rain down fiery wrath upon thee. The second, a frost dragon, glares at the other before turning back to Demo with a cold grin. I suggest you run, little mommy. <laughs> the two dragons rise, towering above you. Leave our hordes or face our wrath. Cast a quick spell to protect your troops before engaging. This will give you bolstered status resistance and resistant attackers. If you just attack... Alright. I'll do auto and see what it, what it looks like. We win and everyone lived at least half health. Okay. This one ran away. I'll just let it auto out. Uh, with the threat of the dragons removed, you've gained access to the golden lair. Through the ages they spent in this realm, the dragons have amassed a considerable horde, its contents meticulously split in half. You even find some broken objects, as if the dragons did not know how to divide the wealth otherwise. <laughs> Luckily, most of the treasures were kept intact. Yours to take, which item catches your eye? You receive a thousand gold. Let's see, a wand of fire breath. Um, glaive of the frost dragon. Repair the broken throne. Receive 660 imperium. Uh, repair the deactivated golden golem. Oh my god. It says it's a tier 5 unit, but it doesn't say what all it does. Let's try the golden golem. It's very tall, I'll tell you that. Uh... 60 gold and 7 Imperium each turn. Immune to negative status effects. Immune. Immune to morale. Yeah, it's a robot. Okay. Um, let's remove the Spirit Wolf and add this giant golem. Oh, wait. There's a, there's a dog in here. Okay, so this army now has four max tier units in it. Let's remove 